Our project is about uh, testing of shaft encoder. Uh, what is shaft encoder? Basically, in industrial applications, uh, we tend to use stepper motor at various applications. At that point, for the maintenance part, if we remove stepper motor uh, for the alignment purpose and all that, while uh, assembling assembling again it, uh, there may be steps error at many steps. So to check the stepper motor, there is shaft encoder. But if you see if there is a if there is an error in shaft encoder itself, uh, there we can uh, the checking of shaft, uh, stepper motor will would go wrong. So for the testing of shaft encoder, we have designed our this setup. Uh, if shaft encoder misses any of the step, uh, the error at that step is detected uh, through our setup. So I am here to discuss our project that is setup for testing of shaft encoder. Uh, basically, we have shaft encoder is the electromechanical device which which converts the angular position of shaft into digital or analog port. So here we will be having our shaft encoder. Uh, first of all, I will explain the block diagram. Here we have used the microcontroller 8051, uh, that is the Philips 89V51 RD2 kit. And uh, after that, we have interfaced the current driver ULN 2803A. Uh, then we have interfaced the stepper motor with shaft encoder. You can see here that the both shafts are coupled with the help of coupling. And here the output of the shaft encoder uh, is 8 bit, which is given to this array. So here we have used the signal conditioner circuit that is the output of shaft encoder is uh, about 9 volt and microcontroller only have ability to detect 5 volt. So we have used signal conditioner circuit which uh, in which we have used the zener diode as a voltage regulator and which will convert 9 volt to 5 volt regulated output. Let's have a look over our simulation. Uh, this is a simulation for setup for testing of shaft encoder. You can see uh, this is the LCD which uh, displays uh, the output and here it is the stepper motor which is inter interfaced uh, and uh, since we haven't got any shaft encoder in simulation we have used this array of logic state which will uh, which will give the output of shaft encoder and here is the output uh, here is the input input modes I mean here it is the single step mode and this is the runtime mode if you can see if you give a single pulse at the single step mode uh, the step stepper motor will advance through the 1.8 degree angle after every step it would advance through 1.8 degree and corresponding if uh, the output from the shaft encoder is correct it would give the status as ok step 6 ok step 7 ok if uh, explicitly if we uh, change the output of the encoder now if you can see it would detect an error at that step so accordingly if a uh, shaft encoder misses uh, any of the step uh, the display will give the error at that step so uh, at the end of the rotation after it at the end of the complete rotation we can detect the errors uh, seeing the actual working of the kit as you can see at the P0.5 uh, that is our uh, mode selection switch which uh, if we give output uh, if we connect that to ground momentarily uh, the motor will advance through 1.8 degree angle With every step, it would advance through 1.8 degree angle, and uh, the output would change. Uh, and this is the array of LED which uh, indicates the output of the shaft encoder. So by analy analyzing the output of the shaft encoder, we can uh, detect the error at the uh, specific steps for the shaft encoder. So by this, uh, working of shaft encoder is ensured.